and welcome to level up ias and welcome back to 10 minute series our topic for today's video is jamna lal bajaj many of us know him who started the bajaj empire but very few of you would know that he played a very big and prominent role in the indian freedom movement so let's begin early life he was born on 4th of november 1889 at kashika bus which is a village in sikar in japur state of princely india at the age of 4 he was adopted by a businessman of varga in his childhood also he did not wanted to live a lavish life i'll tell you one small story proving this he was going for a party when his grandfather scolded him because he was not wearing expensive jewels and ornaments they had an argument as a result he left the house and wrote a letter to his grandfather all earthly relationship is hollow the worldly possessions hold you in their grip thank god you have freed me today from their deadly grip and please rest assured that i will not go to the law to claim a pie of what is yours this shows a young boy kind of metal he has okay moving forward his relation with gandhi he was truly inspired with the gandhi's idea of ahimsa and his dedication for the upliftment of the poor these principles were even taken up by mr jamna lal bajaj and he kept those principles very sacred till his very end he is regarded as the fifth son of gandhi i'll tell you a story jamna lal bajaj ji wrote a letter to mr gandhi in which he said please adopt me as your son to which bapu mahatma gandhi agreed and that is why he is called as fifth son of gandhi so we can say he had three fathers one his biological father second who adopted him at the age of 4 and third mahatma gandhi right now it is said that after the death of jamnalal bajaj mahatma gandhi wrote there was no work of mine in which i did not receive his fullest cooperation in body mind and wealth neither he nor i had any attraction for what is called politics he was drawn into it because i was in it my real politics was constructive work and so too was his i had hope that after me he would fully carry on those works of mine which would be regarded as of special importance this shows the kind of bond mr gandhi and jamna lal bajaj ji shared his contribution for the national freedom he was given the title of rai bahadur by the british government because he contributed funds for the world war 1 but he wanted to take part in the non cooperation movement of 1921 as a result he returned his title of rai bahadur in the memory of jallianwala bag massacre the nagpur flag satyagraha was organized but it got banned by the british government jamna lal bajaj ji took this challenge and he organized the flag satyagraha and what got arrested for 18 months and he was even fined 3000 rupees the leadership qualities which he showed during this flag satyagraha made him a national leader He was the elected leader at Ville Parle for Salt Satyagraha of 1930 because he was not allowed to join Mr Gandhi for Dandi march. Satyagraha Ashram at Varda. Due to loving persuasion of Jamna Lal Bajaj, Gandhi ji selected Varda as the headquarters of his activities. after the closure of satyagraha ashram in sabarmati because of salt satyagraha he played an important role in popularizing khadi
he toured across the country promoting khadi when all india tilak fund was formed in 1921 with a target of 1 crore rupees he donated 1 lakh of rupees and the whole fund was used for popularizing khadi he was the chief of the jaipur rajya praja mandal and he even negotiated a truce between the maharajas of sikar and jaipur social upliftment he opened the gates of his family temple lakshmi narayan mandir what you can see in this image for the members of all castes and creed and this was the first temple in the whole country which was opened for untouchables this is a very big thing he abolished parda system at his own home and apart from that he established mahila ashram in warda and mahila shiksha sadan in ajmer which are the living testimony of his earning endeavors which he did for women emancipation through education he played a very important role in popularizing hindi as well he was the president of all india hindi sahitya sammelan that promoted hindi as the single language to unite all indians he even initiated gandhi hindi pustak bhandar in bombay vinoda bave and matra anand mai he found solace and peace in the company of mata anand mai whom he considered as a spiritual mother she at the fag end of his life jamna lal ji withdrew from all other activities and began to live in a thatched hut in gopuri varda devoting himself to gau seva brahma vidya mandir he gave his lal bungalow in front of river dham where vinobha bhave established brahma vidya mandir gitai mandir after the death of jamna lal ji mahatma gandhi wanted a suitable memorial at his samadhi so vinobha bhave gave the idea of gitai mandir okay i hope you like this video and do share it also and also subscribe to our youtube channel thank you